dear colleagues, dear friends from near, dear friends from far. There are some friends who've come from very far, from the Philippines and other areas of the world. Hong Kong is here. Uh, so this is quite a long trip. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to the 22nd Conference on Competition here in Berlin. It's my special pleasure, of course, to welcome uh, Dr. Marco Buschmann, our Minister of Justice uh, in Germany, Sven Giegold, State Secretary at the Ministry of Economy and for Climate Action. It's a very special pleasure uh, to welcome Margrethe Vestager, um, who has made it to Berlin despite the strike of Brussels Airlines. As I said last night, she had already cancelled everything and then she did it again. Typical for Margrethe, maybe. <laughs> never, never to let go. Uh, very happy that you are with us. I very much welcome Tobias Meyer. He's the CEO of DHL, um, a large incumbent in Germany, uh, an important company around the world and he's going to tell us something about the competitive landscape in which uh, DHL is, is here. Uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome Arne Kirchhoff uh, in, this, in this group, uh, who's the chairman of the Kirchhoff Group Advisory Board. Uh, and you see easily, I don't know if Johannes Reck is already here, he's the CEO and co-founder uh, of Get Your Guide, uh, but Mrs. Alaili from Microsoft is already here. So you see this conference really lives up to its name, we want also to talk with the business. We do not only want to talk about them, we want to talk with them and we want to know what it's all about and, and what is going on. The general topic of this conference is the fundamental change we are going through. Maybe we do not live in a new world order, Christina. New, new world orders come along rarely and slowly. But what we see, of course, we see a fundamental change um, in economics, uh, in the political landscape. War is, f since decades, closer than ever, at least if you live here, uh, if you live here in, in Europe, with an enormous human suffering, but of course also going along with economic changes. And we as competition agencies, we have to cope with these changes because uh, it's a challenge for us, but we want to be close to the economy because we have to react what is going on in the economy. We see a wave of protectionism around the world, maybe sometimes justified if we look at the subsidies that are spent in some, in some countries. But all of a sudden, we as competition agencies are no longer the only kid on the block. Uh, there's, there's also foreign subsidies regulation, there is foreign direct uh, investment, uh, regulation and all of this. We have to cope with the digital markets and as if that would not be enough, now we have to cope with artificial intelligence which comes on top of it and doesn't make our world easier. We have to cope with regulation, DMA, DSA, Data Act, Governance Act, AI Act, all of this all together, all at once. This is heavy stuff for competition agencies and we have to deal with this. So. Margrethe Vestager has said, um, or has called on the next commission, I must read it, to be bolder in enforcing competition law. So that raises the question for all of us, have we been too lenient, too soft, are we all softies? Do we have to be bolder, stricter? How do we react to all these changes? So this is the big picture, and this is what our first panel will be about, this big picture. Um, the second panel is, how could it be different, blessing or curse, artificial intelligence? Who's going to benefit first in terms of economics? Is it going to be the big tech, who have the data, who have the computational skills, who have the financial resources, the deep pockets to deal with artificial intelligence? Where is the chance for Europe with lots of companies with high quality data who could do a lot of artificial intelligence. Is this our chance, this industrial artificial intelligence? Again, we have lots of people here who can talk about this and who know what they are talking about even when it comes to artificial uh, intelligence. The Power Talk will deal with the Brandeisian ambitions 
Chicago School has been everywhere in the US, has been dominating US competition policy. I think there is a bipartisan feeling in the US that something needs to change with regard to enforcement. Legislation has failed and now we watch our US counterparts to do all these cases that we try to tackle with the DMA, Section 19A in Germany, they do it with very traditional competition law. And I think it's exciting to see if the courts will follow um, and if this is really going to work and if they can pursue their new uh, path. On Friday we will start with abuse of dominance in the morning. Abuse of dominance cases have, been, have become extremely important for us not only in digital markets. There's been a long debate about economics, effects-based approaches, maybe at the very end that we could not bring these cases through court anymore. Um, and there is this question, did we as competition agencies with our abuse of dominance cases, did we ever make a difference? Do we have enough impact on the market? Did we ever succeed in reinstalling competition? I think that is the question that we must ask and uh, this is what we are uh, going to do on, on this panel on Friday. We will deal with merger control. How can we get better? How can we, can we make better use of the sharpest sword that we have in order not even to get to abuse cases? but to avoid the detriment to competition from the start. And last but not least, we will deal with the questions, how can we as competition agencies make use of AI? And this is about the digitalization of the state, the digitalization of administrative bodies, a very important issue for the future, and um, we will deal with that um, as well. We have an impressive lineup of, of speakers, everyone knows what he's talking about or what she's talking about. We have 36 speakers from 12 different nations, um, 20 nations if you include yesterday's workshop. We have around about 350 guests from 60 countries. Um, all this would not be possible without some support. Um, I heartily thank Ingo Brinker and the whole Studienvereinigung for the constant support uh, for this conference. I thank uh, the Forum for the Discussion of Competition Policy, the FEW in Germany. I thank the GIZ, the main German development agency. I thank the German Foundation for International Legal Cooperation, who has also helped us to put this together, the Friedrich Naumann Foundation for Freedom and the Konrad Adenauer Foundation. Thank you very much for your support. So this is my overview on what we are going to deal with today and tomorrow. Uh, having said that, I'm very happy that Dr. Buschmann is with us, our Minister of uh, Justice. Mr. Buschmann, the floor is yours.